Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about why I outsource math for my three oldest children and how teaching textbooks helps us do that confidently. Uh, if you're not familiar with teaching textbooks, teaching textbooks is an online digital math course. It goes from level three all the way up through algebra and pre-calculus. So it is a extensive online digital math program and we have used it for years and loved it in our home. So if you're interested in outsourcing math or hearing my reasons on why we do so, then stick around. So. We have used teaching textbooks in our home for years. We have started each of our children right at the level three when they are old enough to begin, and they have had so much success using it ever since then. Multiple grades, multiple learning styles, it's been a hit in our home. But taking it all the way back to the beginning, the reason that we chose teaching textbooks in the beginning was just to preserve relationship and keep relationship as the focus of our homeschool. Now, my oldest at the time, what, there was just some tension happening between she and I when it came down to math. And I do believe that was a me thing. I just, I struggled personally to keep my cool while teaching math. Math is a subject where I think tensions can just be heightened very easily. Um, and so then when you have a second person coming in who is less than helpful with the math tension, then another option may be best. And it was certainly best for us. So I love that by outsourcing the math through teaching textbooks, my children have been able to work independently, but I can stay on top of things. Teaching textbooks gives you access to a parent grade book, which is wonderful. I get emails every single day letting me know my children's progress. And then even more than just seeing what their scores and their grades are, I can see every individual lesson that they've done, each problem that they did within that lesson, and I can see whether they got each question right or wrong, but also whether it took them one attempt or two, whether they viewed the hint, uh, viewed the solution, so forth and so on. So I have a lot of um, control still of their education while outsourcing the actual lessons and the tests and the practices all to the online course. So I still maintain a level of awareness. I know exactly what's going on with them. I'm just not doing the actual teaching and that makes for two very happy campers within a parent-child relationship in our home when it comes down to math. When it's necessary to do so, I can go back and rework the problems with them so I still can sit down with them. I can edit the solution then and change if they got it right or wrong, if I sit down and work through it and I feel like they understand it. Uh, and if I don't want to, I just print their gradebook out at the end of the year and stick it in their portfolio and the, all their overall course average as well as each individual lessons average is done for me. So it's very hands-off for me if that's what I want or I can make it as hands-on as I would like for it to be. The second reason that teaching textbooks fit our needs when it came to outsourcing math was just because I like to keep the long term in mind, especially when I'm not the one actually teaching the lessons. So I believe that familiarity with a curriculum is important for both the teacher and the students. I think it avoids bumps in the road switching curriculum to curriculum. Uh, it's not a new curriculum that we're having to learn year to year. It keeps us going year round. And the fact that it starts at a level three and goes all the way up through pre-calculus means that I can confidently outsource it starting when my children are at level three and just know that we will have a consistency all the way throughout their high school years, which is so beneficial for me. It, it, it gives me so much relief just knowing that we have found a program that works so well for us and that we um, won't have to pause and relearn something new at the end of every summer. Not having to switch curriculum from elementary to middle school to high school level math makes me feel like we are not having any gaps in their education. Uh, it takes some of that pressure off of my shoulders just knowing that they're getting a consistent education all the way through. And if we do come across something that we're having a hard time with and I don't feel like I'm able to help them, rather than switching curriculum, they offer free tutoring, which has been helpful for us in the past as well. So that's a wonderful opportunity. Their free tutoring helps us stay consistent with it, keeps us focused on the long-term goal of just sticking through, using the same company all the way through, one that we're very familiar with. And then also you can choose where to begin. You can start by using their free trial and confidently select 
the appropriate level from the beginning of your relationship with teaching textbooks. So the free trial is a really unique opportunity. You can actually access any of the levels, as many as you would like. You can access the first 15 lessons. There's no time limit. There's no need to enter in any credit card information. So you can try the first 15 lessons of any of the levels. And then whenever you do select the level that you'd like to try, and you purchase the digital course, those first 15 lessons transfer over. So your children aren't wasting those first 15 lessons just on a trial. So that's a wonderful opportunity to just decide if this curriculum is one that will fit the long-term needs of your family and they can start right away in the right place. So as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have three students who are using teaching textbooks currently and they have three very different learning styles and three very different needs. And so one of the reasons that I recommend teaching textbooks so often just from firsthand experience has been that it's been so customizable for each of my children's learning styles and the things that they need met with math and with the curriculum in general. And it's helped them each build confidence, um, be independent work. Some of my kids who I may not feel would be able to be independent learners yet are able to be independent and practice that independence using this math program. And most importantly, they're so proud of their efforts. They know that the grade book, those successful grades that they're getting were accomplished all on their own because there are so many different ways to customize the program for them to fit those needs. So they truly earned those grades. They are so proud of themselves at the end of a school year. And that makes me really happy as a mom, just seeing their confidence be built, especially for my younger ones early on. But then I've also seen it with my oldest daughter and just uh, seen her relationship with math bloom over the years. Some of the ways that we've chosen to customize the program and some of the options that are available to you are not only can you use the Teaching Textbooks 4.0 program on a tablet or a computer, but if it's needed, you can always access a digital ebook and print lessons. You can print their lectures, their lessons, their quizzes. So if you have a student like I do who just needs to sit down and work out some math on paper every now and then, you can do that and then you can go back in and you can enter their grade for them or you can have them enter their answers in if they would like like to so printing having access to that ebook that searchable ebook is super helpful um, whenever my kids just need a break from the tablet there's also a pause option speaking of needing a break from the tablet uh, if your student is coming up to an area where you see they may need more help or if you're going on a trip or if you just need some hands-off math time for a little bit, which happens to us every now and then, especially with one of my kids in particular, you can pause the course for a minimum of seven days at a time, and you get a certain amount of pause time at the beginning of the year. In our experience, we've never used all of the pause time. There is plenty of it, and so they keep access to the course um, without it expiring if you use that pause option, which is wonderful, and that has come in handy whenever my kids Kids just need a moment to either gather themselves, work on a skill that they're just not mastering yet as far as math goes, or if your family just needs a minute <laughs> to press pause on curriculum. During various seasons for various children, I need to customize whether their buddies are available, whether they can choose their backgrounds, whether there are sounds or hint sounds or just how interactive the program can be. Sometimes we need to work on maintaining focus. Sometimes we use the buddies and the stickers as rewards. Um, and so that's another way to customize it if they're getting distracted by all of the fun options and features that are available to them, which you know, spoiler alert, those are the reasons my kids love the program the most, is just how interactive and engaging it is. But on occasion, we need to kind of strip that all away and let them just focus on math, and then we can add those things back in to keep it fun for them. Or if it's just becoming problematic and they're not able to focus because there's so much going on on the screen, we can help them by removing that and helping them focus. So like I said, you can change whether there's um, hint sounds, you can change whether they have um, buddies that they can interact with, whether they can change their wallpaper. There's tons of different ways to customize each uh, experience for each individual child. And you have access from your parent portal to customize that for each individual child. You're not doing that for all of your children as a whole. 
And then you can also choose whether they can access hints or not as well. And like I mentioned earlier, from your gradebook, you can see whether or not they're using those hints. If you feel like they're using the hints too often, which has happened to me in the past, then I know that there is a skill that they need to take some time to work on. So we'll turn those hints off, see if they can do it on their own without re relying on the hints. And if they can't, then we know that it's something we need to work on. The last reason that we outsource math to teaching textbooks confidently is just because as my children grow and the amount of time and effort they need to spend on math changes, it's not dependent on me or our large family's busy schedule. So I have older children who need ample time to finish their lessons. Uh, and then I have younger ones who want to wake up right away and get going and they're so excited to do their math so they can grab the iPad and get started on math right away while I'm still finishing my coffee where my older ones want to work on a lesson, uh, take a break and work on something else or take a lesson with them somewhere. For example, my oldest daughter, um, she dances quite a bit and she has an hour break here and there in between classes. So she'll just bring the tablet with her and she'll work on lessons at that point in time. And we didn't have to hurry up and finish math at home before she left. I love the portability of the program. So when you download the program, um, it downloads their lessons for them, a certain number of lessons so they can be working offline. They can be working in the car. If you don't have Wi-Fi in your car, they can bring it to grandma and grandpa's house. They can bring it on a road trip. They can bring it to dance class. And it really helps with um, each child's needs, especially as they get older or if they need a little bit more time and flexibility to work on a lesson. So I love that it's not dependent on my level of organization within our home, uh, especially teaching multiple students. You know, if I had to take two to two and a half hours a day to sit down and do math lessons with individual grade levels, I can guarantee you that it wouldn't be happening consistently in our home. So it's very helpful that I can hand that to them. I can stick nearby in a room if they need me to be nearby. I can sit down and do a lesson with them as they need it or if they wanna be completely independent, they can do so, they can take it with them and I can check up on their lessons either on my own in the grade book or on those daily emails that I receive letting me know about their progress. It's also really convenient that there's a built-in scratch pad within the program, so they don't need to bring paper and pencil with them if they don't want to. Sometimes my kids wanna work on paper, like I said, and we'll print those lessons. Sometimes they wanna be working on that digital scratch pad, and it's a wonderful option, and it keeps it really flexible for them um, as they get older. So that is why we outsource math and how teaching textbooks meets those needs for us. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below, and I will put all the info you need for the free trial down below as well.